Welcome to Hopscotch headquarters in New York City. I'm Dr. M and I'm going to show you how to make a silly video game out of emojis. Do you see how my screen is like a mini version of your screen? Just follow along and do what I do. If I ever go too fast, you can pause the video and go back. I had an idea to make a game where you have to keep something from falling into danger. You know, like when the floor is lava. My game is going to be about my phone falling into the toilet but you can customize it however you want by picking your own emojis. Right now on your screen, you should see an empty grid. At the bottom, there's a plus button that lets you add objects. Let's add the phone emoji. Tap the plus, and then tap the text button. To get to the emojis, tap the globe or the smiley face down here. Then choose your emoji. I'm going to use the iPhone, but if you want to look for another one, just pause the video. Tap the check button when you're all done. Hey, now you have your first object. See how you can pick it up with your finger and move it around? Put it in the middle of the screen. Right, now let's add some toilet emojis. Where do we get new objects? That's right, the plus button at the bottom. Tap on the plus. Then tap the text button and find the emoji you want. I'm going to add lots of toilets because I think that's hilarious. When you've got enough, tap the check mark. Let's move the toilets to the bottom of the screen. If this makes the delete menu come up, just tap no, keep it. Great, now we have our objects, it's time to add some code. Code means the rules that tell the objects what to do. Tap twice on your phone object to add code to it. This brings up a new screen that lets us write rules for the phone to follow. Let's write our first rule to tell the phone to fall down. At the bottom, tap on when game starts. See how it adds that to your rule? When the game starts, we want the phone to go down and down and down. So let's use a loop. That's in the blue blocks. Scroll over to the end of the blocks or tap on the blue thingy at the bottom of the screen. We want our phone to fall forever, so find repeat forever and tap it once. Make sure you can see that that blue block is now in your code. Next, scroll back over to the red blocks. Find the red block that says change Y by. Tap it once. It goes into your code. Now you have to pick a number for how much to fall. I recommend negative 20. Remember to make it negative though, so it falls down. If you make it a positive number, it will fly up. Congratulations, you finished writing your first rule. So now it's time to test it out. Find the play button in the top right hand corner of your screen and tap it to test your code. Yay, the phone falls down. Success. You can always tap the curvy arrow to make the game reset. Now back to writing more code. Find the pencil right back where the play button was. This lets you go back into editing mode. Tap on that pencil. I think the phone should get bumped up whenever you tap it, like when you're playing with a balloon. That needs a new when. Tap on new when at the end of your code. This time find is tapped. It's the second block down. Moving up is the opposite of down, so that means it's positive y. In the red blocks, find change y by and tap on it. I think 200 is a good number to use here. Now test if your code works. Press the play button in the top right hand corner. Yay, I can control my phone. Okay, one last step. I want my phone to disappear when it touches the toilet so it looks like it's falling in. Tap the pencil to add more code. The phone is the one that will disappear. So make double sure you're in the phone's rules and tap new when. Now we need to look for bumps. So scroll over to the right 
It's the first block under collisions. Tap bumps to add it to your code. But you're not done with that just yet. See how it says when anything bumps anything? We want when the phone bumps the toilet. Tap on the first anything to change it. Now it gives you choices. Choose text. That's what it's calling the phone. Now tap on the second anything. Choose text two. That's what it's calling the toilets. See how it looks now? It says when phone bumps toilets. To make the phone disappear, scroll over to the green blocks. Find set invisibility. Tap on set invisibility to add it to your code. Now type 100 for 100% 100 invisible or completely invisible. One last thing. Wouldn't it be funny if it made a gurgling sound? Sound effects are also in the green blocks. Find start sound and tap on it once. Scroll over until you see the bubbles or click on the leaf for the nature sounds. Tap once on the bubbles. Isn't that a cool sound? Now it's time to play your game. Tap the play button to test it out. Oh no, save the phone. Ah, it's just like real life. I hope you enjoyed making my silly game. There are loads of things you can add to make it better, like more sound effects, or adding multiple phones, or making the phone spin when you touch it. Just look through the blocks to see what's possible. Have fun creating, and most importantly, don't take your phone into the bathroom.